Today's anointing is to be marked for preservation. Hallelujah. I want to say that the anointing simply means to roam, or rather, to anoint means to roam, or as to cover with oil. Amen. Every morning, when you are thinking about the next thing is to do what? Anoint yourself, Lord, oil yourself. And what is the purpose of that? It is simply to preserve your skin. Amen. To preserve your skin. You remember that the spirit of your flesh is not good. One thing I know was for a long period of time, the person was not oiling themselves. And what happened to their skin? Their skin began to crack. Hallelujah. Their skin began to crack. I see people who have spent for a long period of time in the hospital, and by the reason of them not even showering or anointing themselves, their skin began to crack. In life, sometimes the life pressure, the pressure of life, and throw things at you such that you find yourself begin to cry. Hallelujah. And I want to believe that today God wants to anoint us for preservation. He wants to mark us for preservation in the name of Jesus. You see, to, to anoint is more like a consecrated gift. That God hands to His people a special endowment. You are marked. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible will say Jesus Christ. Why? Because He's marked. Jesus Christ means the anointed one. Jesus, the anointed one, the covered one. Hallelujah. The marked one. Praise God. All say that from the beginning of time, God has been marking people. There are many people God has marked, and you're doing one of them in the name of Jesus. Why preservation? Because to preserve is to maintain something in its original state and existing state. Some of all life was beating blue back. But God is saying, I want to maintain you today. I want to mark you for preservation. It's to keep alive. Therefore, from today, after the hand of God comes upon you, by the extension of my hands, I want to say to you that everything that is good this is about to die. Is coming alive in the name of Jesus. It means to keep saved from harm or injury. To keep undisturbed. Undisturbed. Hallelujah. Amen. To keep undisturbed. To prevent from decay or loss. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes when we want to preserve our food, what we use is oil. Amen. But those walk back the wall where you don't have fringes or something, when you find this what? They use oil. They use oil. Oil. Because oil does what? Preserves. Hallelujah. Oil preserves. Oil preserves. It means to conserve. Conserve something. God wants to conserve you from the hand of the earth. To protect, to defend, to care for. God preserves a man and cares for that person. To take care of. It means to look up, to save, to save God. Hallelujah. Pray to God. To save God. Thank you, Jesus. It means to save God. 
He means to secure. He means to shelter, to shield, to watch over. The anointing is what marks us in the spirit, such that the enemy knows who to touch and who not to touch. The enemy knows you. The enemy knows you very well. He knows you very, very well. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. The devil knows everybody. He knows the address. But the point is this. Are you listening to me? He knows where to go. He knows where not to go. Why? Because of the magic. Amen. Amen. Listen. In Exodus, when the children of Israel were going to go, the last night before the, 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 the departed Egypt, what did they do? They did what? They marked. God asked them to do what? Mark their walls. Their doorposts. Why? So that they can be preserved for the day of them. The day you're going to be marked in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, Cain cried out to God even when he was he had sinned against God and God had been asked him to, you know, and he was being uh, released from the presence of the Lord. And he said, Lord, anyone who sees me now will kill me. You know what? Because there was no longer any presence. There was no longer in the presence of God. Therefore, he feels so exposed. Anyone who sees him will kill him. I'm referring to Genesis chapter 4. And God said to him, I'll put a mark on you. I'll put a mark on you. Hallelujah. And it says, Whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken from me. How? Sevenfold. Hallelujah. The Lord set a mark on him so that those who will see him will not want kill him. There is a man. Hallelujah. When Israel became so messed up that no one could even, you know, it, the, the culture became so deplorable, the culture deteriorated to a point whereby it was difficult for people to really uh, access anything or uh, the number of those who were of God were less. In fact, it reminds me of this culture that we are in with the But when you look at Ezekiel chapter 9, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 3, from the spirit of the Lord said, the scripture says, Now the glory of the Lord God, the God of Israel, has come to Jerusalem, where it has been to the threshold of the temple. And he called to the man clothed in a lid, in, 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 in lid who had the righteous ink in his hand. And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and do what? Put a mark on the forehead of those who sigh and cry over all their abomination that are done with it. Let me tell you, you cannot be marked if you condone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you condone evil, it is impossible for you to be marked. I will show you to me who should be anointed. So you understand this very well. You are not of those who just wake up one morning and start giving out Jesus and giving out the food for a while. The Bible says, Lay hands on any old man. So you 
Dios conoce a los dos. Aleluya. Ahora dice, put it back on them, verse 5. To the others he said in, the, in my hearing, go after him to the city and kill. And do not let your eyes spare, nor have any pity. Verse 6.
some, some, some so-called pastors who will use when they mess up, they now use this to defend themselves. You cannot talk about me. No, you can't talk about that. Amen. 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 Come on, man. This is the only day in the cemetery. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can talk about me. Because when it says prophet, it's not talking about to that prophet's name, it's not talking about the common ones. Okay? So let me teach you that scripture again. It's not talking about the common ones. It's not talking about those who are called to be prophets. It's talking about those who are inspired by the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us are here? We all prophesy and we declare the word of God in the prophet. Praise God. He's talking about those inspired by the word of God. Hello? Hi. So the next time a man messes up on his door and, and, and starts using this kind of nonsense to kill his, don't tell me, you're strong and that is great. Amen. Amen. But I says, do not touch my anointed ones. It means that there are ones that are not anointed. Let's read this scripture further. Do not touch my anointed ones, which means there are ones that are anointed and there are ones that are not anointed. There are ones who are marked, there are ones who are not marked. Do not touch my anointed ones. Now, who are those who are anointed? Yes, yes. When you search through the entire scripture, there are only three sets of people who will find another. Hallelujah. Amen. You will find three sets of people. You will find the kings, you will find the priests, and you will find the saints. You will find kings, you will find priests, and you will find what? Saints. And in Revelations of the Father, he says what? For he has made unto he has made unto himself kings and priests, and we shall do what? Reign on the earth. How do you reign? You can only do it except you are a main king and the main priest. You cannot be a priest by the how do you reign on the earth? The queen was a queen. And uh, what was was good was a queen incorrect. But until she was today, until that staff was given to her by king makers, nothing would happen. The fact that you're Christian does not default you. You carry something. That's why the Bible says, but for them that believe, you give them power to become what? Souls. Not they become, they are not souls, they become souls. How do you become souls? When you are led by the Spirit of God, that the they are led by the Spirit of God, they are what? Sons of God. But when you believe, the right to be a son is given to you. When you are led by the Spirit, you become sons. That's scripture. Hallelujah. I know they've come to that so many other things, but I'm telling you the scripture. By what? The anointing. You are marked as one. You have something every other person does not have. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone posted something yesterday, a message yesterday, and she said, if there is one thing that she saw about the whales, is the level of decency in their presence. And I said, yes, that whole way of the And he asked the question, where do we get our sense of dressing from? When your skirt is all in this place, and you see your new final, you can't be a way out. There are ways to go out. The brother was eating popcorn and he wanted to answer the question. I do not want this. The greater the 
You're royal. You need to walk like one, talk like one, act like one, live like one. Why would somebody catch you unexpectedly? Did you get it? The one thing that makes so different is the respect. Do you know they can still dress the way they like? They can dress the way they like. Did you see Andrew there yesterday? They made up a cook and boost to see that's what we We all know that. Why? Because his recent actions were not, were only become of the royal. Now, if men hold the royal position that had the highest thing, how are we who are royal Christians? The holy nation! What respect do we have for the anointing? Please, I want us to know and the Lord marks us to do. Let me tell you. Hold me with heavy respect and know for sure you know how. In Jesus' name. He says, do not touch my, do not, do not, do not, and do my prophet what? No harm. Let me show you this. The man who grew up in that scripture, Abraham. When Abraham, the man was taken in Genesis by Abraham, God showed up at night and said to him, You are a dead man. Hallelujah. That's Genesis chapter 20. He said, You are a dead man. Don't even consider it. You went to take this man's wife. You will be taking wife for a long time. You went to touch this man's mouth. You are a dead man. It means anyone that touches what you have, who you are, what concerns you, is what? A dead man. From today, as that anointing touches you, by the extension of my hand and the power of God upon you, that comes upon you, in the name of Jesus, anyone that touches anything that concerns you or belongs to you and holds it from you maliciously, in any way to perform, is a dead man. Yeah. I didn't say that. It's the scripture that says so. It's not a place of honor, but it's a place of if you try me, you're in trouble. You try me. I remember a long time ago, a young man was going to start insulting me. I think I was in school, I was in the grade. And um, you know, we went to the public tower to get some water. And uh, he wanted to start the government. And the boy that I was in the team very well, I said, Do you really know who you're talking to? He said, Who are you? I said, You don't know who you're talking to. All right, come here, come and do it. He's a big man, I know you are. Come here, come and do it. I don't know who are you, I don't know who are you. I'm like, Come here, come and do it. I'm laying my hands on you and then we'll see who is who you are. Hallelujah. He doesn't matter. A lady sits at him to me once and says to me, Oh, there are some boys, some cold boys that don't kill me because uh, they thought I was the one that wanted them and all those kind of things. I said, Tell those cold boys they have three options. In three days, they are dead. In three days, they will cripple, but in three days, they are dead. Which one? They should be one. What tell them that? And tell them I said so. Are you getting what I'm saying? These things are very serious. They are very serious. And I want to give God praise because God has never given me a word that I say for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. To so anyone that touches you today is a dead man. And we have the Lord. And we have God. Let's rise up to our feet. Let's rise up to our feet and begin to bless you with God. Say, Lord, I want to pray in the nation. Let's pray and not be Lord for your preservation. In the name of Jesus, I'm not for preservation. By the Spirit, lift up your voices. It's not time to be quiet. 
you can have voices to come down to the wife. Father, I'm going to need for preservation, O God. I'm going to need for your preservation. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to need for your preservation. I'm going to need for your preservation. Everything that concerns me. I know that there are so many of those who have found in this bathroom being kidnapped here and there, issues here and there, discovered here and there. The Lord will preserve your home. By the way, the will come to you. By the reason of that word, you are the in the name of Jesus. Oh, I say, come on, I'm going to go to the Come on, I can't hear you pray. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord, my heart will be exalted. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My heart will be exalted. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My heart will be exalted with God. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the Lord. We will be getting the children first. Let's ask the children to come forward. And we will pray for them as well as they keep my hands on them. You can just go into the church. In the name of Jesus, I say you are marked for preservation. In Jesus' name. And I will say to you, you are marked for preservation. In the name of Jesus. By the unction of the Holy Ghost, I am marked for preservation. In the name of Jesus. By the unction of the Holy Spirit, I am not you, but I am marked for preservation. In the name of Jesus. You are marked and anointed for preservation by the unction of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you are marked and anointed for preservation by the unction of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you are marked and anointed by the unction of the Holy Spirit for preservation in the name of Jesus. You are marked and anointed. Straight up, 
beyond your mother's imagination. It is preserved. You will not lose it. You will have it. So go and enjoy it and fulfill it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. We give you praise. Lord, you are not. I declare your soul anointing. Anointed for preservation. In the name of Jesus. Anointed for preservation. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that which was spoken to him, Father, you preserve. And let him be expressed in due time. In the name of Jesus. Satan, I declare, touch not the anointing of the Lord. And do his thoughts, you have. Thank you, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus. Anointed for preservation. In the name of Jesus. So get ready to become the director of the ministry. I hear you say, look at me, get ready to become a director of the ministry. The Bible says, you watch from the impact. Hallelujah. You face the opposition, you just know it's part of the country of the earth. Okay, it comes to the territory. But get ready to be the director of the organization. Think, think like it, act like it, live like it, move like it, talk like it, and it will be this. What is it in us? Here's a book. I don't know what they're doing now, but it's your father who will not be involved. Preserve our own things, set in store for us in the name of Jesus. I want to preserve the things that you spend in store for us as well. The Lord of God, destiny will not be away from the Lord. Let your name be glorified, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord. Oh, God, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray your preservation. Your anointing for preservation, let it come home. That which is about to decay, that which is about to walk, let it be in your life. Oh, let your world live life again into it. Let me see the oil of the Lord. Let it be a full restoration. Let it be a full maintenance of your spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus. God is preserved. In the name of Jesus. Oh, friend. The hand of the Lord is the Lord. Look no further to the past, look to the future. Because God is about to do a work in your mind, in you, that he will really do your mind, it will go beyond your wildest imagination. Because you know what you can think of, my God is working in you, for you, for you, for you. In the name of Jesus, and we are blessed. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare your love to you. I love this organization. The Lord keeps you. The Lord keeps you. The Lord keeps you. The Lord calls his path to be gracious to you. Lord, uh, by reason of the life becomes easy. Life becomes easy. You know what to do. And you become grace and ability. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. There is something that is preserved for you already, my sister. You just need to go get it. There's something already preserved for you. You need to go and get it. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. You're preserved. You're preserved. Your family is preserved. Your home is preserved. Everything that concerns you is preserved. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You are not going to preservation. You are a wonderful preservation in the name of Jesus. But all men say this is casting that little sins to be done. In the name of Jesus. God will preserve you in the name of Jesus. And in the place of God will lead you to the glorious inheritance. It is glorious destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. You are blessed. You are preserved. And God is preserving His will, His power, and His counsel of you. And when time to do it, in Jesus' name. And I declare you preserved in the name of Jesus. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, that which is still, let us come alive. Mm. 
I can lose strength. We are great. We are vehicle. Let there be a renewal of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Men will ask, how do we do it? But in the name of Jesus, you will know that it is the anointing of the Lord and my privilege of the Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name.